David, Jay, thank you very much for talking to me today. Thank you, Sarah, for having me. The work for the Project SCAR is something that I think is incredibly important. Excited that we're actually going to do something together with this. What was in your mind when you started shooting it? I just wanted to take a good picture of my friend who had just had a mastectomy when she was 29 years old. She had been a, a model herself, and I had been taking her pictures since she was very young. And uh, that one picture grew into this project that I'm still shooting 12 years later. One of the reasons I wanted to, to work and support breast cancer awareness and also to design a double mastectomy bra, I really wanted to um, portray what was really happening in, in a way that allowed women to still keep their femininity, to keep their sexuality, to keep their pride, you know, to, to keep the fight. It's so layered for me. Um, and I didn't want to be apologetic in the way in which I um, showed the images and the way in, in which I spoke about it. It's funny, in the beginning, I really struggled with that as a fashion photographer myself and just as a, as a human being. When the women would come to the studio, they'd come to the door and my heart would just kind of break for them. I just couldn't bear to take a, an honest picture of them. It, I just, so I would go back to all my kind of fashion photography tricks and move the lights here and there and, you know, suddenly they, their skin would smooth out and then their belly would kind of move in and, mm -hmm. you know, they're taking all these chemicals and everything goes wrong and they look often quite, quite rough. And uh, I just wanted to take a pretty picture of them, yeah. so I, even just for them. Yeah. But ultimately I realized that served no one and it's that there's a, a much deeper beauty here mm -hmm. that we can uncover together. And uh, I remember just telling this first girl, it's just like, you know what, there's no more pretty pictures, so I hope you're okay with that. Yeah. And they were all really very trusting. How much admiration did you have at that point for the strength of well, these women? They're so courageous, aren't they, to be there? Yeah. Such a I find it extraordinarily courageous, like the strength to expose yeah. yourself and, and for others, in a sense. For me, they're doing it for others. It allows the viewer, in a way, to, first of all, just to stare, to give us an opportunity just to look at something we never get to stare at. Yeah, and she's allowing you to also. There's and permission. Allows, and she mm. allows you to. It's, it's mm. obvious in the photograph that this is what it's for. There's one photograph that we've used of yours that I find so powerful, which is that lady who's having, being, having her arms you know, she's being wrapped around with sort of love and affection. I mean, people would come to the studio, they would make a trip out of it from all over America. They'd take the bus, they'd, they'd bring their friends, they'd come with their parents. And it was really it's just the most amazing experience and often very emotional, as you can imagine. Whenever I've seen what the women are going through and then to just know that they have, they're so sort of stripped back of everything they once had, you know, it just takes everything from you. Yeah. And um, my intention is really to try and bring something beautiful and soulful and, you know, something with some heart and soul into the room with yeah. them, with, you know, in, in something, something tactile that they can experience that makes them remember who they once were or something that they once yes. had. One might say, you don't know me from Adam, but I'm a 40-year-old woman. I live in England. I have... I've had breast cancer, I've had my breasts removed. I feel like a monster. Uh, I've never let my husband see me naked again. My children have never seen me. Um, I feel just like I cannot go out in public. I'm just so embarrassed for myself. And then they go on to say, I happen to see your images on the internet or at the exhibition. And often people see these pictures and you kind of fall in love with the subjects because there's this very pure beauty yeah. in them, this purity of just the human spirit and... Survival as well. I mean, when I look at the pictures, I think, oh, it's, you know, the, the survival instinct in yeah, that. The survival and just the, the, the kind of commonality of, like, humanity. And there's something really so beautiful in there. And I think they, they go on to say it's like, or at least think, well, if I fall... If I can love these women just by looking at them, and I think they're beautiful, and I look like that, then maybe I'm worthy of being loved too. How much do you feel of it is about prevention and is about awareness? I hope it has an impact on everything. I hope it has an impact on prevention and cure, and also just 
more so just the way we kind of engage each other at the most simplistic and banal levels. Thank you so much for even allowing me to talk to you and to even consider working alongside me in, in trying to produce more powerful imagery and powerful work. You know, it's important. I, I think it's incredibly important. Well, and I think everything you've done, you know, my main admiration goes out to your sitters, though. And, you know, for me, they're really the ones that this is all about. I really want to thank you just for taking an interest in it and, you know, uh, and giving me an opportunity to, to work with you. And, you know, I think it's going to be amazing. I'm excited. All right. Thank you. Thank you, Stella. Thank you, Jay.